new chart types are about to grace Tableau in 24.2. And I had the opportunity to just spend two hours with Tristan from La Data Viz about what him and Jessica have been building as part of this capability coming very soon. He walked me through all the new capabilities they've got, as well as showing me some new ones that are gonna launch with this version of Tableau. We've actually had a two hour conversation. So what I've done is I've split that up into three videos. Today, we're talking about Viz extensions. Over the weekend, you'll see a new video talking about his journey leading to this point. And then in a couple of weeks time, we'll see one more video about the Figma to Tableau plugin. But as ever, let's get stuck. In. I guess it's now, it's probably a good time now to, to, to come to sort of what you're doing. And before we do that, I think it's really important to sort of touch on something, which is, in the last year and a half, every week I open my Twitter feed or LinkedIn feed, I see a chart not posted by you, but has been enabled mm. by you. And it's been it's been absolutely incredible to see you've basically brought the the you know the hearts and minds of people who've been really frustrated with the design capabilities in Tableau, the ability to do things and tell stories that that uh, you know they wanted to tell for so long. And I think even your you add this uh, thing, as soon as you release that, I, I saw 10, 20 visits where people just quickly did something that they, they wanted to do for a while, but just couldn't be bothered to look at, you know, not yeah. couldn't be bothered, couldn't be bothered as harsh, but the effort to, to do that was not justified, right? I do not, and I'm part of these people, like the, the fun, <laughs> funny thing is like, I have never made uh, a visualization, like an yeah. advanced visualization, in the way of data densification, table calculation, <laughs> like, because, like for me, it always sounded so, so much work kind of to achieve something and mm -hmm. knowing a bit of programming. Yeah. Like if you want to, if you want to use D3 to make a sunk, it is, is, it feels much more easier, right? Yeah. yeah. People are afraid of code usually, like people see that and be like, oh, that's complicated, but I swear it's easier than having to go through all of the steps to make a sunky and these kind of things, right? So yeah. for me, it's like, no, I'm going to skip that part and directly try to 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 make it. And the, the first visualization was a, the network diagram. Yeah. Yeah. The very first that I did in 2019 was a network. And it was just like, a network is even more simple because it's just circles and lines. Yes, Tableau yeah. can do circles and lines. It's just how do I calculate the position of the circles and the lines, right? Correct. So I use these three to calculate those positions mm -hmm. and then say, okay, now I have the X and the Y coordinates. Tableau, please make put circles and put lines at those coordinates and it and made the key. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's interesting how you break that down as well because... Although you didn't do that identification and you essentially didn't go through the mathematics of making that happen, you kind of did it through another way. You did it through programming and you just took what you needed, which was the output. And then you just, you, you gave it yep. to Tableau as is. And so I think this, you know, there are going to be people watching this who want to get into development or think development is a very big, you know, difficult thing. Actually, you know, your journey should act as an example to people that first you start by breaking down the problem. And then mm -hmm. you take each of those parts and you apply it to something that you already know. So you don't have to go and rebuild VizQL or, you know, uh, the render no. engine. You just need to understand how Tableau works. And dare I say with chat GPT today, I mean, <laughs> people, people can get very far. Even I've, I've had crazy, crazy results building, uh, things that I just, I don't think I could have built a year and a half ago, had it not been for things like chat GPT. So you can get very close to what you want. Yeah. And then on top of that, you've got people like yourselves in the data dev community who you can get into a Slack, you can get into a meeting with, and uh, you can ask those questions and even Tableau themselves put developers there. And before you know it, if you're just persistent, you can actually pull together something like add this, right? Which just lets people mm -hmm. build something. And then once you've solved that problem, the next mountain isn't so big anymore. It's like you're already halfway up, right? And then you just keep going. And next thing you know, um, you've got uh, La Data Viz uh, Mark II or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really brick by like it, that is the thing is brick by brick. At the beginning, yeah. the 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 very first version of Adviz was really just that was okay. If I put my data and I export it in a CSV, it yeah. does something. Okay, now what if I make a UI where people can put the data and then it returns the CSV, right? The 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 calculated data. Yeah. And then I get well if I already have the calculated data. Why do I not put it already in a pre, like a pre-rendered kind of yeah. dash, uh, workbook? 
Yeah. So when you click on download, it doesn't give you the data, but it gives you the workbook that has that data inside. And yeah. then suddenly, okay, that well, that works. Okay, now what if I make it a bit more more beautiful? What if yeah. I put this and that? So people see the result that we have right now and be like, wow, that is um, that is incredible. You have yeah. done a lot, but it's also like just years of weekly small incremental change, right? Yeah. Every and I think that's that's what people say. No, like you you. You over, yeah. You usually underestimate how much you can do in in a year or something. Yeah. Like that. and that's completely true. It's like yeah, on a weekly basis, I feel that we our progress are really slow, like yeah. extremely slow. I, I like I, we should have been able to do much more than that. Yeah. But then you look back from a year, two years ago, and you're like, mm-hmm. okay, no, we have done a lot, right? So it, yeah. it's always that kind of difficult. Um, yeah. yeah. That 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 phrase you said, I heard it for the first time in the context of Apple. Um, the the developer, Apple developer, was saying that you tend to overestimate short term progress and you underestimate yes. long term gains, yeah. and yeah. and it's it, it just really hit me. And it's like, yes, that that is exactly that is nearly always the way with these sort of great accomplishments you see out in you know on LinkedIn, wherever people have been chipping away at these things for for, for quite some time. And I, I think. Again, I've I've had the privilege of watching your journey throughout the years. I think many people have maybe only discovered you in the last, you know, um, mm-hmm. two years. Uh, like data viz has probably only landed in people's inbox for the last uh, year and a half. But it's really hard to forget that you've been on that journey f- for quite some time. So if anyone is out there thinking, how do I start? I think you just, just listen to Tristan, what he's doing now and get started because you never know where it will end up. <laughs> And and I would what you you your point about ChatGPT it was completely <laughs> true. We would not have we would be maybe halfway without yeah. ChatGPT at the, at that time because yeah. yeah to make product online and to there is so many small components and Correct. it's really hard to know everything. So usually yeah. that's why also we can only afford to be just two. Yeah. Because actually, we are not a team of two. We are a team of three, if you count ChatGPT, right? It is a <laughs> member of our team. Maybe right? five, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It counts maybe for, for, for more than one more people. But like it, it's, it's true that when you want to try a new API, when we started to build the Figma plugin, mm. it's like, well, it's a brand new world of the Area, Figma. Yeah. How, how do you start, right? And, and then re- really be able to have... To have um, a way to have answers yeah. to your question, but specific answer, right? Not not what you find on Google necessarily, but like, hey, I have this specific code that I want to kind of try to 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 build. Yeah. Can you can you guide me through or tell me why it's not working? And I mean, it's it's really really helping us a lot. Good, good, yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, people underestimate the power of those tools. I think, you know, you think it's a chatbot. I don't use it as a chatbot at all. I use it as a way of mm-hmm. making my mind think. I use it as a troubleshooter. I, I rarely use the 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 answers or Google search-like capabilities. That That's mm-hmm. a sort of a different world. But anyway, look, we, we've talked a lot. I know people are desperate to understand uh, the two things you've built. So let's start with Viz mm-hmm. extensions. Um, yes. Like in your own words, what are Viz extensions and what have you built to sort of enable that? I sort of give the floor to you to to showcase what you've built. Because I, I think it's incredible. And I think, um, uh, yeah, 24.2 is going to be, <laughs> it, I don't know about you. Do you not think 24.2 is a huge release? Like I, I know there's lots of negativity and stuff. And I'm just like, what is wrong with people? This is this is a banger release. This is a big release. Like, I, I, I of course, you and I would be excited. That- but yeah. <laughs> it has been years for me since since we didn't have such a big release, right? Yes, so, exactly, exactly. Because, because and and I think maybe it's because when you when you just look at it from like a um, an announcement perspective, it's like okay, we did this, this, and that. But it's understanding how big the impact will be going yeah. forward on with Correct. those new, right? Correct. And yeah, and that's I think will come through time when when because it's a bit hard to to okay this extension. Yeah, but when you have been like us working with it, it's like this is probably <laughs> this is the huge. biggest change in Tableau since I started using it. Yeah, like honestly, this yeah. is how it feels. I like I started in 2015, and I don't think there has ever been um, release in Tableau d- Desktop, right, or in the the yeah. way we build visualization that has that big of an impact. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Like. Because even you could say like, no, like a parameter action or those things had a huge impact in the way people 
interact with the or made a dashboard to interact. And that is true, but all of these interaction, everything that you can now imagine, every visualization that you have seen ever on the web from from the people who write those books behind me, like really, <laughs> like really the 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 master chief of yes. visualization you can now yeah. do all of that inside them. So that's what exactly. is this extension is really. Yeah. All the capabilities of that were that that are available on when you hard code it, right? Mm -hmm. Using JavaScript, can be using SVG, Canva, D3, or any library. Right now, you can have that inside Tableau, inside your worksheet, when you drag and drop elements. Yeah. So when you drag and drop before 2024.2, mm -hmm. it will always be VSQL that will render your chart. It will True. be a bar chart, a line chart, with the marks that you are available. So circle, square, line, yeah. polygon, those kind of things, right? Now, once you use a Viz extension in your marks, you actually, when you drag and drop something, it is no longer VSQL that is rendering in your in your Tableau yeah. environment. It is actually calling a web page, like mm -hmm. code that is hosted somewhere, can be local, can be on the cloud, can be, it's, it just renders codes inside yeah. Tableau. Yeah. And then you can program absolutely anything. Anything. Like mm. as, a, as a demo, I say, well, if you could, um, you could play like, and, and I think that's that's how people sometimes understand better. Is like if you, I think you remember when uh, Merlin at some point he made like uh, Mario in in Tableau um, desktop using uh, an extension. Yeah. Well, it's exactly that. Is like as long as you can run some code inside Tableau, you can call anything, right? Yeah. You could like as a drag and drop, I call chat GPT to tell me what I'm what I'm drag and dropping into my, Cracked, my yeah. you yeah. can you can yeah it's really it's it's a, a new blank page but this time completely blank in like when I drop when I drag and drop category in in my marks yeah what is getting rendered by that you could have a a Tetris game that renders cat the category and you <laughs> you can do anything you want, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it, I was saying to Ravi, uh, Ravi Mystery, you know, we mm -hmm. were talking a bit about how how this is also a big deal for businesses because a lot of businesses in the past have been confined by what Tableau describes a chart to be. But the example mm -hmm. we talked about is 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 a sports. If you take a golf swing, for example. With this capability, for the first time, you even have the ability to do sort of video analysis. Because again, if you're just given a box and in that box, you can put anything you want. And the data that drives that box comes from your data set, whether it's a video URL, a video player, as an example, could load in there. And you could augment that with your own information coming from your marks pane, your categories, your shelf, all of that stuff could actually happen. And we're just at the beginning, so of course I'm sure these you know people are going to discover the edges and the boundaries, what's good to do, what's bad to do. We'll get into that in a little bit, but it just opens those doors, and you don't find out where it makes sense to push those boundaries until you have the tool available. So I feel like this is version one, and I think in three, four years' time, after it's been out for a while, we're gonna we're gonna find out. Okay, now here's what it can really do because people will have had time with the tools to get familiar mm -hmm. and i'm sure you've got things that you're thinking about asking the developers hey can you do this can you do this yes. because you know you know that's going to enable you to do things that people are coming to you with ideas for right yeah exactly and if you stay in the sports analogy because we also work with um with a company that is around uh, sports yeah. and there is always and i think if if there are like people who are in the consulting world yeah. you always have clients who they don't know tableau and about oh, can you make a radar chart or can you make a, for example <laughs> recently was the network of the pass during a game right ah, so yes. they want each player in their position and then links when the those two players pass the Have ball passed. and then the width of the of the link yes. will be how, how much pass right yes okay well now you just drag and drop players and you drag and drop pass <laughs> number of pass and you yeah. have it right? yeah that because easy. there is so yeah exactly so i think that's that's the main there is two parts for for this extension one is the tool that we are developing and that we will release and we can mm -hmm. make a small demo so people yeah. understand more yeah yeah, yeah absolutely 
and that will be new charts type. Yeah. Sunkey, network, stream graph, tree diagram, every, every, like advan like more um, advanced charts. But yeah. you will still kind of be confined to what we think is a Sunkey or what we think Correct. is a tree diagram, right? Is yeah. the way you drag and drop still pre-render something. So yeah. that is one part. But what we really want to people to understand also, and, and I, I, I hope that it will also unlock more business on that side for us, is like people who will reach out because they have a really custom need to have yes. that chart that works for them. Yes. And it's like, no, when I drag and when I use my um, player, like um, a pass network of yeah. my player, I don't like, it's always the same data and yeah. it, uh, we always want it rendered the same way. So I yeah. just need to drag and drop two things and I want that to be already the result. Correct. You can also be like, whenever a company make their own bar chart or whatever, mm -hmm. their line chart, it already has by default exactly the presets. color, the style that they want, presets, right? Yeah. So yeah. they don't think twice. They It's already how it's supposed to look. Um, yeah, from it's, it, it, I hadn't thought of that actually. Yeah, recreating the standard chart type so people don't have to think about how they look. That's just a, it's a classic one, and from exactly. an accessibility exactly. perspective, that's also fantastic as well because you can you can codify things in the web better than you can do them in in, in sort of VisQL, right? Exactly. So exactly. loads of opportunity and, there. And that's also the the frustration that we have with sometimes clients who don't know Tableau mm. is. They want, they see visualization on the web, right? And they say, oh, can we have those those rounded <laughs> bar corners, yeah, right? Yeah, or we yeah. can have the gradient style. And you're like, no, we, we cannot, we cannot. And I think now it's like, while well, you are purely rendering web chart SVGs, yeah, yeah. you can do anything you want with them. If you, when you pass your, your when you over, over a bar chart, yeah. instead of the standard, uh, l like, you know, line that is and the color, <laughs> yeah that you can modify, you can now, well, if you push, put your mouse over, the bar kind of, infl like you can imagine yeah. whatever you want. Do anything so, you want, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's really wild. And I think, um, gosh, it's hard to, it's hard to contain the opportunity as well, because I think sometimes, you know, Tableau has this problem, right, where Tableau will say something is coming out and there'll be a lot of hype and then it comes out and it's missing something and people are like, oh, it's not good enough. So. Another thing I like to tell people is like this is version one and Tableau in the last, let's say, mm -hmm. two years is that they've not just brought something out and stopped. They've added features continuously for about seven, eight releases before you start to get to like a mature level. So I think people have to do two things. First of all, get 24 to try it out, understand it. We'll get onto the complexities after you've, you've sort of showed us a demo. But then secondly, um, give it time, give feedback. Uh, feedback to people like Tristan, feedback to people like Tableau so they can understand what it is yes. that's missing to kind of really build on the platform. Yes. Yeah, yeah I think it is, it's great that it's there. There are still missing parts. Yes. Uh, yeah. Things that we can build, Yeah. things that we cannot, that Tableau has to, to give <laughs> us the option to. Yeah. But I think it's definitely going in a more open direction. Yeah. And I think that's that's what we needed. Good. Well, um, let me give you the floor and you can maybe just yep. show people an example of how, how it works. So really the new the new thing is in your marks. And right now I'm using Tableau desktop uh 2024.2. Yep. Uh, so you will have now the Viz extension here, right? Yeah. Perfect. So there is a the main the easiest way to try Viz extension is you click on this button. And then you will see the list of available Viz extensions that are on the Tableau Exchange, right? Right. So for a visualization to appear there, uh, to appear in, in the exchange, it needs to be a Tableau partner mm -hmm. uh, that created the, the, the extension. Yeah. And we went through like a process of verification. Uh, the Tableau developer checked the, the, the extension, tried it, uh, give, give some feedback to make sure that it's working, right? Right. So you are sure that what you see here should be high quality. So let's take uh, the tree tree diagram. You have some small explanation. You are, yeah. And we will complete that with a demo, but you click open. And then now that's the, the big new thing is in your marks, you mm -hmm. no longer have line bar, you have a tree diagram, right? Nice. And, 
And what we did is we have this small start page because it's a new chart app, so not everyone will know how to use it. So for us, yeah. to use a tree diagram, you just yeah. drag and drop dimension on detail and you will start making this. Right. Yeah. So just just so to in, stop you very briefly, yeah, yeah. you've you've built this feature here and it's mm -hmm. still a blank sheet. Is that correct? This year. So yeah. basically we have said if you have no information in the marks, mm -hmm. then we give you a splash screen that explain you how to use it. So this is this is the web page that 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 renders that, right? So, okay, so when you I'm gonna stop mm -hmm. you because this is incredible. Yeah. Tableau has been building Tableau for 20 years and you as a developer have beat them to this. <laughs> because why why isn't this on every chart? If you go put a blank, go go to a bar chart. Why 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 do you not yes, this is this is genius. This is genius. Like I'm sorry. You have I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it just blew my mind. I was like, come on, where is like that is incredible. I've used I've used your extensions, but I I had not noticed this bit, which is just this so is new. good. So, so this is new. We are getting, okay. really, we are getting okay. really close to okay. So Mate, now we this, have is, more. this is fantastic, Tristan. Honestly, this is this is so obvious now. Like Tableau have exactly. to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> and this is this is what it's good, right? It shows that the community can actually develop something faster than Tableau yeah, exactly. and, and come to ideas that just so obvious. And maybe this is in the ideas page already, but my word, can you imagine? Jeez, that's such a good use of white space, honestly. I think this, this is this this is the feature of the year. I'm gonna I'm going to talk about this more than anything else. Like <laughs> just look you, you pick, you know what to do. Yeah, we can end the video here. I'm done. This is this is what Tableau needs. Like <laughs> Sorry to break your flow, but uh, I'll, I'll let you carry on. This is fantastic. I have no clue. Like we, we can discuss this for, <laughs> for the next hour. And a half. No problem. Oh wow! So yeah, so I, I'm going to drop something. So it will go away, but you will have something new. So now I just put categories. So we have our three yep. three categories, right? Um, and of course, to build a tree, I will need something else. So let me put subcategory, and we have now the subcategories. So really drag and drop and and here we just have size or detail so we can maybe probably use like the the size like this yeah. and then you you have recreated that amazing and so and simple that's, yeah that is and it it should feel like tableau right so for us we put a, a few em emphasis on um, a few things first the default color that you see should be for us in our mind and i don't know i'm not sure if all the other partner follow that but for us it's like we want people to feel like they are inside Tableau. So the, ask, the color, yeah. that, it, when you over over that kind of the the tooltip that is displayed, everything should look and feel like Tableau in our in our mind. Yeah. But we also know that people usually want to go be, beyond what Tableau usually allows. So mm -hmm. that's why we have this format extension. And when you click on that, this is also something we have completely. Custom coded, right? Nice. And we also made sure that compared to, for example, if you open the sort, we actually took the color, <laughs> the, the, the the style, the yeah. kind of, you, you know, it's really small difference. It but basically feels like, like Tableau, we, yeah. I wouldn't have known otherwise. Copy, copy yeah. what Tableau, has. and I, I guess yeah. they are happy with that because it makes a, a better integrated, like I feel, experience. And then from there, that, that is really where um, you can configure your tree or your, mm -hmm. your advanced chart in ways that those marks are not, um, yeah. they are not enough, right? So for example, for a tree, you could have a um, horizontal layout. You could have a root Amazing. that says, for example, sales, and then you have a bit more, more information, right? You can increase, decrease the size, yeah. a lot of things that are, that are really specific to to the um, to the tree diagram, right? Yeah, and it would be impossible to have all of that in just just custom um, cards uh, marks, yeah. right? Yeah, for the color, and this one is a bit specific, and I can enter in. We can discuss that maybe later, like a bit how and and the design choice that we have to make. So here you click, uh, you want to color by category, and you have your different category. You be do I want the color on the nose, the links, or both? Yeah, uh, and then palette that we already have by default so by default it will be the tableau one but we also put observable that is a new we put some oh, special yes. uh, 
that are 24. So you have different <laughs> colors. Very nice. But at any point, you can be, I want to change this and then make um, furniture and red. Yeah. And, and do your own colors, right? And this is this will be safe. You have a small legend that you can display. You can change the label and you can here change everything around the sheet. So do I want to fit the height, the width yeah. height, or do yeah. I want to yeah. have custom fixed custom one? So wow. Yeah. So yeah. that's also really close to what Tableau um, that we will be used to with Tableau, right? Background color on those. Yeah. Colors. I think out of the box, you've also done more customization than you'd get with a default chart in Tableau, if that makes sense. I yes. think you've given no, 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 yes. so much more granular control. And these yes. small controls just just take those charts to the next level, like in a very small way. But they just, you go from being very familiar, you know, what you started with to mm -hmm. being something you didn't think was done in Tableau because someone would look at that and go, oh yeah, you can't control the line color. That's not, that's not a Tableau feature. Well, no, yes. you can, mm -hmm. it's native now. Perfect. Oh, the, the stroke, the stroke of yeah, the yeah. Around yeah, text, yeah. right? So many things, so many things. It's amazing. Oh, the stroke of the text. That's a nice touch. Yeah. The, yeah, the, 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 yes, the at, outline of, oh, that's so good. Especially exactly. when you've got when you noisy could... charts. Oh, that looks exactly. so good. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've played with this and I didn't even notice half of these features. I must have not played with it enough. So, <laughs> and we Thank also you so much. added more features. So these these are kind of new, right? Okay, fine, um, fine, so good. Th that's that's the tree. And then if you go, for example, to one that is maybe and again completely, um, like let's say radial sunky. I like yeah. I like this one mm -hmm. for something. Um, oops, I just put over. Let's let's put back our tree here. And I will just say tree. And normally, if you so, uh, if you just change the color of something, right? When you close that configuration window, mm -hmm. so let's, let's put it back like this and add a root and call it sales. Yeah. And maybe for the color, I'm just going to put this one. Mm -hmm. So when you close that window or when you click on this button, that's where you kind of save your preference, right? So now right. inside that workbook inside that worksheet we have saved the preference, preference of the the look and and feel right so if i mm -hmm. go to another worksheet and i come back or if i close and i open this will be saved so now for the radial sunkey this one you can see is different we have source target yeah. size and again we have the we have uh, our our start page right so we need to drag and drop a dimension again. on and on target Very good. so we can go Category, let's put subcategory, and we have our, our chart. Excellent. And we can put so simple. Sales in that. And in that case, for example, we can, you have color, right? So you can put category in color because that's the source, right? Nice. Or you could color by subcategory, right? And now yeah. each subcategory has um, a different color. They are, they are repeating because Tableau only has 10, but you could, yep. you could make them a different yeah, yeah. And now it's a bit interesting because what what should happen if you use segment in color? Segment in color, or oh, so you should we, split the technologies into the different segments. So should we have more source or more targets? Oh, good question. Both. both, because you'd have so, so, exactly. So that's yeah. that's where OS is like. Okay, we need to put some limitation. So if you use segment in color, we say you can only use category or subcategory. As a Very name, smart. Right? Yeah, you've caught the because user so they don't point, make a mistake. Yeah. Exactly. Because at some point we cannot allow you to, yeah, to, to like, it will break the chart or it will yes. make things that are not coherent with what you see. So we yes. try to avoid that. So yes. that's why if you can, and the tree was exactly that. For the tree, you cannot use drag and drop color because the the only dimension that should exist for your tree is your detail right is the level that you are I see. but adding any other color would break things right because you because will... it's a tree it's a hierarchy it's not exactly. yeah, it's not one color so, yeah yeah and the underlying data so if we put if we had the color here uh, and you put segment or whatever the underlying data that tableau gives us will be de-aggregated to the level of the subcategory, subcategory, and segment. Yes. But then the tree will not know where to Which render. Which one to put the color, yeah. Exactly. Or it yeah. will have multiple colors for one category or one subcategory, right? Yeah. 
So that, that's the kind of difficulty we have to run. Jeez, but in yeah. that case, for example, in this one, you can put profit on, on color. And then, there you can see the, the infamous, we have an issue on the tables, right? But just, <laughs> you know. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from there, also, because to render this, we really take what Tableau gives us as the, the data that is rendered from that, right? So mm -hmm. it's really when you, when you right click and you say view data, that's what the web page receives. So if right. you would um, sort your subcategory and you would be like, I want to sort them by the field that is the sales, it will automatically re-render. Oh, nice. Uh, right? Yeah, that's very so, cool. And, and, so, and, and it's really the position of what you, what you have put here. So we have subcategory first, right? So they are sorted. In the, within each category. Within each yes. category. So yeah. Subcategory above. Then it's uh, completely yes. sorted. Right? So it really respect the logic that you have when you use them. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Oh, that that gives that that also makes the design element a function of the data rather than. That you exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something arbitrary, which is very easy to make mistake with, and you can actually end up kind of creating something that doesn't make visual sense. Like visual communication is relying on the data to kind of work. It's it's mm -hmm. really good. Love it. Yeah. And here I will just put something a bit different. I will just put country and uh, maybe region and country just for the next demo because I think that's, that's yeah. an important part also. If you make um, a dashboard uh, and you let's put the tree, let's put this. And we could also have like a really stand, doesn't need to be a, a advanced chart or whatever. Yeah. But what we also have make sure is like that the you have you have the the that you can use it and that you can also use this as filter. So Filters, whenever you, yeah. something, you can, oh, it's so good. It yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And this is, this is, I'm assuming this is work that Tableau have done in the background. You've told, does Tableau yes. feed you the actions or like, yeah, what's going on in the background there? Cause that, that's, that, that sort of really impressed me when this was announced. I went in to do my actions and it all just works. So what are you doing to enable that? If that makes sense. So what do we do to enable that? Um, a lot of coding. So <laughs> actually we don't have, we just have um, a function yeah. that allows you to let your dashboard know what to filter. Right. So it is, it is even, it, it's to that level of complexity. So when I click on Netherlands, yeah. it's my job as the developer to know that the user has clicked on Netherlands, Netherlands, put that value, and then filter the rest to that specific okay. uh, ID, right? Okay, yeah. That's kind of so interesting there is a, because yeah, if you control yeah. that, you can build really interesting ways of filtering into the into the chart as well, right? You could, like, yeah. you could also make really easily mistakes. So, for example, True. you could click on <laughs> Netherlands and it will be something else. We yes. had the, the case a few times, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, really it's, a, it, 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 it's, a, it's a challenge. It's not as easy as well. Tableau recognize it because yeah. basically it's our web page that needs to send the right information to the next um, one. But right. What, what we really want people is to, to try it out and to see because, uh, one, one big, let me just put the, the categories in code. What we really have tried to do is that you should feel like you're in Tableau, right? So for example, mm -hmm. if I click on one and I hit control or command in, in the Mac, you can do multi-selection, right? Yes. Yes. L yeah. Like you are supposed to to yeah. have it in. Wow. So you've, you've really obeyed fundamental, what I would call user experience norms of Tableau, right? You've, yeah. you've taken your usage of Tableau and you've not just done these things and say, oh, it's fine if they just, you know, no you've really stuck to all the things that people expect to do. And so you can just replace an old chart you've had before that you've wanted as a Sankey with this one, because it will just replace your old chart with actions and everything. Just switch them over and you're done. Yes. Very good. No, exactly. Is that is you, you're correct. And then what we have been doing, and that's maybe another example I wanted to show you. So let me just, let me just go back here. So once, so yeah, if you want to add an extension that is not 
on the exchange, right? You can mm -hmm. access local viz extension. Yes. So local viz extension are like T-Rex file. So you can see here we have the different our different T-Rex file when it's a dev, yeah. the dev version or the production version of our, our extension. And basically here, anyone, uh, so you work for a company, you want to build a, a, a custom chart, you can build like a T-Rex file that will specify what are the marks um, yeah. card that you are available. And then you need to code, of course, the, the result, right? Of course. So I can show you something that is a bit new. Like, for example, we have the gauge. Yeah. That is oh, also gauges. Everyone that's... loves gauges. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you have this, and then you just oh. drag and drop a measure on value. And if you want to tag it, so you just put sales on value, and then you have the value of your sales, right? That easy. A... Yeah. That easy. And then you can format and be like, well, oh, of course. what I have is like, by let's say a hundred thousand, let's do another one of a hundred thousand and let's yeah. add another section. You can give it like it's... zones, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So you have your different your different zones. Um and then again here is like free for all. So you can really have you have different style of your gouge. <laughs> you can change the the like that background color. Of course, you can change the color of this. So let's put, yeah. let's put blue. Um, you can change the start and, and angle, the needle. Do you want this style, this style, like something like that, uh, square? Wow, so you can, you can do, again, whatever <laughs> you want. Anything you want. <laughs> Anything you want. Really. You can, let's, add a, let's add a target. So, for example, let's put maximum of, let's say our target is 35, 350, something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And then you have the target, right? There you go. And the same wow, issue, this... forget, you can be, what is, how, how does our target look like? Do we want the title? Do we yeah, want yeah, yeah, many yeah, yeah, yeah. Really full control. And I think I the thing I like about this is these are just charts. Like I'm not, uh, it's not, it's not criticism per se, but I think you've just focused on the charts being charts. You've not tried to do anything else on top of that as well. So I think they're very accessible to users. Everyone knows what a gauge is. Everyone knows what a, you know, um, I say everyone, that's not technically true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With experience, if you want to build a gauge, you know how a gauge works and therefore you've already sort of investigated it and all the things you'd expect to be able to change, you've made available here. So it's really straightforward yes. for someone to find their way through. <laughs> and that's a bit of a funny topic about, uh... An ongoing discussion with Jessica and I. So yeah. because we are just two and we build those things, it's a constant battle between not adding too much because you don't want to Correct. overwhelm the user. And sometimes you feel like the gouge has a lot of configuration, right? Especially yeah. if you start to go to the um, the set the um, everything, the yeah. Labels. Yeah. So you can be okay, do I want my ticks to have a label? Yes, which color, which position do I want them on top, <laughs> on the bottom? Do I want them add, do you want a prefix, suffix, decimal? You can, do I want the so font? So many, yeah. The font as a different font. Where do I want it? Do I want it more over there? So <laughs> basically what, what, uh, what Jessica did is she looked at hundreds of gouge on Tableau Public and, yeah. and, and in internet and be like, yeah. oh, this is an interesting style. If I would want to recreate it, how would I go? This is what right? we would take. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And then that's why we have a very different style of like this one will only show you in which section you are. Mm -hmm. uh, this one will display all of the sections at once, right? This one only show you up to that point and it will Correct. change color depending on, on where you on are. On how so. you do. Yeah. 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 It's interesting as well because I think um, the two things, um, you know, when people discover a chart, they don't always know what they're looking for. So mm -hmm. it's a difficult problem for you to solve because what options should they have? Well, what do people want? Well, people don't know what they want until they start playing around with it. So you kind of you kind of constantly in this sort of loop where you have to build just enough to enable the basic user to go forward. But then for someone who knows exactly what they want, just enough so they can get as close to, to what they want. Because of yes. course, this is still Tableau. So it's not going to be like the gauge in your car, which is, you know, for, for actual driving, but it's going mm -hmm. to be something that you can kind of um, customize. So yeah, we, exactly. here, here we have a bump chart. I love this one as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah bump chart. And, and <laughs> for me is also how easy with the, this extension it is compared to what we had before. Yeah. Because in, 
So for those who, who know Advis, you always needed to format your data in a way for us to display that, right? So Correct. here we say, well, what you need is the different ID, the yeah. different year, and then the rank that they have. So you <laughs> need to repeat yeah. the rank for. So it was still, you will still need to format your data to for, for our tool to understand it, right? Yeah. And of course, for for bump chart, and I think this is one of the one that is less used of our of our generator. And it's because it's fundamentally it's also something that moves through time. So if you Correct. cannot connect it to your real data, it's it's a problem, right? And so this is kind of the bump chart v2 of you have the axis. So let's put the order date. And then we have the rank and we want to rank by sales. And what do we want to rank? We want to rank our subcategory. And then you have like the rank Damn. of the subcategory by year, right? Yeah. If you want to change that and show it by quarter, you can show it by quarter. Of course, here we have a bit <laughs> too much quarter. Goes so maybe fun, let's yeah. reduce. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and there you have it, right? Oh, there you go. And yeah, if you yeah. want to color by category, you can color by category. Oh, and then you good. have like an easy way to to see with the tooltip and everything how your your um, yeah. subcategories have moved. Yeah. And then if you go to format, you can be, well, I'm only interested in the top five, but now it's it's not that nice. Maybe let's reduce something like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. It's, it's really about playing playing yeah. with Dialing it. Dialing like, it in, we'll... sort of configuring exactly. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. And it is artistic. I used to use, I still use a service called Last Femme, and it has one of these built mm -hmm. into the, yes. into the mm -hmm. website, right? And so you know, I'm going to visualize my music taste over the last 20 years yeah. at some point, and I'm going to use your, <laughs> your plugin to do that. And it's, yeah. it's, it's fascinating because there's so many things in a bump chart that you have to think about, like, for example, what happens when something goes off the chart? Like, where is that? How do you interact with it? Um, all these mm -hmm. labels, you know, these nodes. And when you're really dialing those in, you make artistic choices. You make you make some decisions about what is valuable. And, you know, for some people, this is more valuable, just seeing those lines and seeing the things change position, right? And so the, the thing to remember is this is still a Tableau chart, right? It's still interactable. Yeah, exactly. It's still got yeah, lots of really see. interesting things, right? So... Those stories, you can use uh, set actions, you can use parameter actions, yes. you can use filters just to Simple add all filters, of that storytelling right. into that. Yeah. yeah. If, if right now I want to go to order date and just focus on yeah. 2024, right? And on there 2024, I see the monthly evolution. Yeah. Then I have the monthly evolution. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. So you take one of Andy Kriebel's videos, like three level drill down into something. You can you can zoom into like a quarter or, or zoom into like a year or something. It's gonna be it's gonna be really, really powerful. Um and and you know, we've also got in twenty four T we've got the the uh, multi fact analysis. So I just I just keep thinking of like I bet you someone somewhere is gonna do take one of your charts and do something ridiculous because they can use multiple dimensions in a data model to really add color to this in, a, in an interesting way. So wowzers, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I have to say, well done. I, I like, again, to just think like this started like journey 10 years ago and probably in the last three years, you've been traveling at 110 miles per hour, but you've been building momentum to get to where you are. It's, it's incredible. It's really incredible. Well, and, and I would say it's you also when 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 Jessica joined the company in September last year, I was I really also said in the newsletter. Hopefully, people will be able to see more things going on. Yeah, because also as a one person, it was really difficult. It's and very dark, yeah. what I'm I'm making the demo of of like currently the Viz extension, but almost all Viz extension has been built by Jessica while I focus on the Figma plugin, right? So wowzers, yeah. She she has done most of these these things like for example the radar I'm going to finish because we could we, I could just show them all but like <laughs> radar all day, is the yeah. one that she did recently <laughs> it's uh, incredible is like well let's look at the subcategories and maybe the sales by yeah. the value and here you have a radar <sighs> music to my ears music to my ears I have a. Um... I have a visualization that I've had in mind around music listening, and I tried to do a radio chart ages ago, and it was so hard, so hard. Yes. And and now this this is just going to make it dead easy. Um, so Very I cannot cool. wait to see what people do with it. Um, amazing.